GarageBand iOS has a lot of great ways to add drums to your projects, but what if you want to download and import a drum loop? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Step one is to download a drum loop. I've gone to freesound.org and I've searched rock drum loop. And if we scroll down, I like the looks of this one. We can preview it by tapping. And to download, I'm just going to tap on the file name there and hit the download button. And here in Safari, it's going to download that. If you want to learn more about downloading files and using them in your Safari on iOS, check out the video down in the description. Step two is to set up our GarageBand project. So open a new project in GarageBand iOS, tap on the audio recorder, and then tap in the settings in the top right. We need to make sure that the tempo matches the drum loop that we're using. In this case, it was 146. So we're just gonna dial this tempo up to 146. Step three, we want to set our section length to automatic. So to do that, we tap on the plus button in the top right here, go to this section and make sure this is on automatic. This will ensure that no matter how long the loop you're bringing in is, the entire loop will be put into your project. Step four, we need to import the audio file we downloaded into GarageBand. To do that, we tap on the loops icon in the top right here. And instead of being in Apple loops, we go to files and then we tap on browse files. And to quickly find your file, just go to the recent folder here because it'll be the very first one at the top there. We tap on that one and GarageBand will import that file right here into your GarageBand file transfer folder. Step five, we can preview the audio file by tapping on the icon. And again to stop. And step six, to add the file to our project, simply tap and hold and drag across and drop onto a blank track. Step seven, if your file is more than eight bars, you may need to zoom out. So just pinch your fingers together to zoom to see the entire loop that you've imported. And step eight, hit the play button to hear your loop. And from here, you can add more drum sounds to fill out your drum loop, or you can add other instruments and build out your project right here in GarageBand iOS. And to learn more about the drummer and all the ways you can add drums here in GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description.